The third position form is installed in the Davenport screw machine by first removing the tool clamp, tool clamp bolt, and jack bolt. It is normally necessary to select a tool clamp bolt and jack bolt of the correct length. It is strongly advised to have a selection of tool clamp bolts and jack bolts on hand since the length of bolt required is determined by the width of the tool or tool holder. Standard 835 tool clamp bolts are stocked from 7 8 inch to 4 inches. Jack bolts from 1 inch to 4 inches in 1 half inch increments. The bolts are removed and installed using a 5 8 inch wrench. When installing and securing the tool in place, it is important to have a minimum of 1 half inch bolt length threaded into the casting of the third position tool arm. The tool clamp should be positioned parallel to the tool. A 964th pin should be placed in one of the six holes in the tool 180 degrees from the cutting edge. When installing the tool into the tool pocket, position the tool in the hole that will bring the tool closest to center. To set the tool to center, turn the tool centering gauge over and place it upon the shelf above the tool pocket. Adjust the tool downward with the tool adjusting screw until the tool contacts the tool setting gauge. Some tool centering gauges may not have been machined for the third position. Once the tool has been set to center, it is strongly advised to verify the tool position by facing a bar with the form tool. Beginning in May 1990, the 1644 SA third position slide became standard equipment on the Davenport screw machine. The lower section of the slide is adjustable, laterally, one half inch. Place the tool in the tool pocket and secure with the tool clamp. The tool clamp bolt should only be snug against the tool clamp. The tool setting gauge may be placed against the positive stop bracket and utilized to set the tool to center. Turn the 713-4 adjusting screw until the tool makes contact with the setting gauge.
tighten the tool clamp bolt. Move the tool closer to the revolving head. First turn the 5080-281-32 adjusting screw counterclockwise to take up any backlash. Loosen the two 835-14-32 screws slightly. Move the tool. Retighten the two 835-14-32 bolts. To move the tool away from the revolving head, follow the same procedure, but turn the adjusting screw clockwise. <laughs> 